And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir Swain. We're going to be trying out new Vladimir. And I wanted to bring this deck back. This was a deck we just played on, on Meme Tier Monday before, but I wanted to try it out in ranked because it, it felt pretty good and it was um, a pretty cool deck. So basically what we're going to be doing is combining those two champions with Bilgewater, where we have these cards that whenever you play them, they deal damage themselves. So Krusty Codger, you know, whenever you play it, it's going to be a one mana two two, but it dealt two damage to me, and so basically that means that it survives damage, so it goes towards leveling up Vladimir, and then also that two damage that it deals to itself, that's non combat damage, so that goes towards leveling up Swain. So these these cards um, can just help level up both of your champions. You know, Box to Post, that's three damage for for uh, Swain and also, you know, helps Vladimir and of course the Fortune Croaker as well. And kind of the main reason why I wanted to play this is because the combination of Fortune Croaker and Crimson Curator, uh, that's that's always a lot of fun. Like if we can get Crimson Curator and play first, Fortune Croaker it, then we do one damage, whoops, we do one damage uh, to the Crimson Curator and draw a card. And of course, whenever the Crimson Curator survives damage, we get to create another unit in hand. So. Uh, just a pretty so you can basically turn that into a draw two. So I think that's a pretty cool little combination. We got Legion Veteran in here that uh, whenever our allies survive damage, they get plus one plus zero. So therefore, um, you know that can have your Fortune Croaker be like a, a three two whenever you play it, and it also pumps up like these other things, give them a little bit more power. And so combining that stuff with Citrus Courier also, where if we can if we can turn on Plunder. We can attack with Citrus Courier and heal our damaged allies, right? Like those those allies that are self-damaging, um, we get to heal them. And of course, rally, get extra attack. So that's pretty cool. A, a way for us, we have a couple of ways to turn on Plunder fairly easily. We have the Zap Sprayfin being elusive. And, you know, of course, Zap Sprayfin also just draws cards and is really good like that. And we're also playing Death's Hand, another very easy way to turn on Plunder. Death's Hand, of course, works perfectly with Swain as well, of doing the, the non-combat damage to the enemy Nexus to be able to stun the strongest back row enemy. So it can help out with that too. And then, of course, we have our top end cards that are just amazing with Captain Farron, Leviathan. We got some real heavy hitters here at 8 mana. So it should be pretty fun. So that's going to be our deck, Vladimir Swain. We'll see how this one does. We're going to go play our five games over in Ranked. Ooh, Tom Kench, Soraka. So we have two Culling Strikes in here. Uh, this is the matchup where you wish you had like seven Culling Strikes. I'm not sure if that's allowed. Uh, I'm going to Mulligan Legion Veteran and Mulligan Citrus Courier. I like the, the elusiveness with the Spray Fin. That's going to be an important aspect for dealing damage. See, look at that. We just played a, a one mana 2 2 that, you know, attacked and dealt two damage to them and stuff, and we're already like 20% leveled up for our two champions. Just for playing a one mana 2 2. Getting rewarded. You yeah, know, now we're like 40%. Alright, we'll tack on in there. Everyone pleads for the right prize. I'm still good to scrum. Ooh, there's Vladimir. No more of your crap suit lost, please! It's that soap? You'll be drinking this? Hmm. Need one more mana to be able to play that. But of course we're going to be able to play Transfusion here. Ooh. The past didn't even challenge. They just want more health on those, it looks like. Okay. Do I want to play Vladimir? No, I think I'm just going to attack for two. I've been propagating <laughs> I see feast of your future. If they have Bastion, I have Death's Hand to stop Bastion. Okay. I served for decades, and you call on me now. Start the round. Where are you? 
Ёпти! Okay. Basically, make it so guiding touch doesn't save Boxtopus. That to have something else besides Bo besides guiding touch. They haven't really shown Pale Cascade or. Okay, yeah, Astral Protection makes sense. They have, I was going to say they haven't shown Pill Cascade or uh, uh, Bastion. Be able to heal this thing quite a bit. So I want to play Vladimir, uh, but maybe I need to play Sprayfin. So Vlad will do four damage to like one damage to all of this stuff and one damage to all of theirs. Sprayfin, you know, we maybe find some kind of spell to interact. Keep up, keep up. So I'm gonna go Sprayfin to try to find a spell to interact. That's not the spell I was hoping for. Come out of your crap soup lobby, please. It's that soup. You'll be treating this. Hope this works. Hope not another guiding touch. Darn. No, Vladimir wasn't really good play there. It's just, it's just you know, like the game's different against Star Spring, right? Like it, Star Spring just changes what the games look like. This is probably me dying. Unfortunately. The cargo. Yeah, the Boxtopus. Uh, yeah, real good. No more of your crap suit lost, please. It's that's that two, four, five, six. Please. Yeah, that's that's me dead. Darn. GG's. I had all three guiding touches. Yeah, I mean, we could have a Scorched Earth, I guess. Meh. Meh. Do I want to keep Swain is kind of the question. I think the, the answer is no. I'm going to keep the Leviathan. Come on, puppy. Come on. Playing anything besides Heimer? No, just Heimer. So no Vi? Come on. Here, pup. <laughs> She's like sitting here wagging her tail a bunch. Um. I'm still good to scrum. Come here, are you gonna come here? Alright, not too bad. A win streak. Just trade, you know, two for two. Trade even on mana, but I got good level up with my champions, and we dealt two damage to them. I'd never keep my guests waiting. Alright, we're up a little bit on mana. Ooh, that. that's a good card. Yep, hey, I got the spirits. 
These are my rules. That was a good fortune, Croker. Yeah, just kind of fit perfectly here. Forward in the name of the Solari. Um, I could trade the Swain, and that means we trade Swain, we do 8 damage to them. That may not be bad. Yeah, that may not be bad. Just trading Swain right here. I think it's a 4-1. Because if not, they like take 4 and then and trade here. No, I'm, I'm not going to trade Swain. Force them to have a removal spell. So they have not done a very good job of drawing Heimerdinger. Yes, it hasn't felt that way. Repair the cargo! There is no excess when victory is at stake. I forgot to check if that was the card that was created by Flash of Brilliance or not. I don't know if that, if that really matters. Artillery barrage! Come on. Come on, pup. Hey, you're the most indecisive dog. Come on. There you go, finally. Battle stations! Let's attack. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. Destination in sight! So we're looking pretty good. Especially having a Captain Farron. And we're doing 6 damage turn. Pretty good. And that's going to have to be the best time reading error. <laughs> yeah. Like, Citrus Courier of Vladimir is awesome. Not easy to pull off, but it's quite good if you can. I guess we mulligan Death's Hand. Cool. I like that. Yeah, our deck levels up Vladimir very, very easily and quickly. And so then you're looking at, like, whenever Vladimir is leveled up, it's a 5 mana 6 6 regeneration. With upside, it's just a really good card. I could attack with Fortune Croaker, but then, you know, that could turn on, turn on like Static Shock. We'll just pass. We're going to just save our three mana for Culling Strike for Ezreal. And they want to play Ezreal there. Maybe I just, you know, Box Plus Challenge. We could do that too. I helped build this empire. Whoa. <laughs> I served for decades, and you call on me now. That was a big thermogenic beam. I'm fighting to do. I need a rubber chick! We eventually have to get past these things. Alright, so yeah, Vladimir only just needs one more to level up. So 
Come on, Vladimir. Ooh, Sprayfin's not bad. Yeah, we just play Vox to post and then that levels up. Vladimir. Like a fish in water. I don't know, what you thinking, Pup? I'm thinking that I need to keep the Culling Strike available. Alright, and now I don't really need to keep Culling Strike available, because they can't... They can't like play Ezreal and you know then attack and you know get a bunch of good stuff with Ezreal. We're just gonna death sand that thing and kill that. Alright, so where are we at? Swain's at eight. Vladimir good. Try again. Both of their champions are leveled up. Still have some fights left in me. I think it's better to go with Leviathans over Captain Farron, but not exactly sure. Yeah, I think it's better to go Leviathans, though. So this is gonna do seven, you know. So the Swain's gonna do seven damage to me. Um, I think I, I think this is a good opportunity to use the Noxion Fervor and just kill the three two. And then I'm planning on leading, going with Swain next turn so that I can have Pulling Strike to try to take down an Ezreal. I know I could just play another Leviathan, but... Worried about an Ezreal a little bit. It's not a ravenous flock that's, you know, hitting my leviathan. So the problem with playing Fortune Croaker is that then I can't have 8 drop and, and pulling strike, right? I want 8 drop plus pulling strike. So I love that we get to stun the Swain. So don't have to worry about that. Uh, I'm not sure which 8-drop to play. May it may be time just to play the Captain Farron to, tr to be able to finish them out with Decimates next turn. Because, like, their their deck doesn't have any Nexus healing, I don't think. I don't think they could stop two Decimates from killing them next turn. I don't think they can. Captain Farron's not lying when he says, I'll end this. Not lying. We're going under. Oh yep, there we go. GG's. Just double decimate next turn. History will remember us. Alright, two and one. 
Ooh, this is gonna be difficult. Cause they get to, you know, go wide, they're aggressive. Like that's it's a good deck. Like these Shadow Isles cards are good. Kinda like all of these. <clears throat> Playing Twisted Fate, Twisted Fate's awesome. We'll go mulligan a death's hand. Don't have the biggest confidence in winning this game, but we'll see. Uh, Tarek and Draven, they're just... I mean, they don't have, like, the most synergy, but they're just good aggressive cards, and, uh, you know, it's gonna be an aggressive deck that just curves out, and, and, uh, they're both great at attacking. I guess that's the synergy is. They're both great at attacking. And then, yeah, you get some spinning axes that level up Tarek from Draven. It's like, it's basically always Blighted Caretaker. Like, just don't have Blighted Caretaker, <laughs> right? That's like the one card, that's the card that's just, has, that's the card that makes Shadow Isles devastating. The bloodier, the better. It's not like I can, like, Death's Hand, the Curse Keeper, and Please make their Blighted Caretaker it. worse because they have this hapless aristocrat. I've whipped up something special. Yay, not blighted care not blighted caretaker, yay. Yay, pup. I don't mind a few one ones running around. Not being able to block. I found my family, my blood kin. Cool. Still have some fights left in me. Nah. You know, let them block with these things, go towards level up Callista, and then it gives them open spots to play new new threats. Where now, you know, like their board is just filled, and so like they want to play a different threat, they got to just cover up right these things anyway. This could potentially work out pretty well. Cool. Got Callista out of here, that's good. Oh, and they get to put more Gohards in the deck, that's good too. Alright, pulling strike for that thing. That's step one. That is pretty awesome. I think I'm gonna play Curator and Krusty Codger. Yes, get rid of Blighted Caretaker and Glimpse Beyond. Get rid of both of those. Of course, they don't have the best Blighted Caretaker board anymore. Come, Clara, we have much to teach you. I can't wait. All right, so levels up both champions. Like a Death's Hand and Citrus Courier this turn. Some time. Where are you, spirit? Let's see what you can do. Is 
abyss of death you imagined? I've embarrassed fools twice your size. I'm rich. I guess I'll just give him four threes. Alright, so basically what I'm doing here, I know like my units are taking some damage. We cleared up the spot though, we get to Citrus Courier, heal these things. So now they're not damaged anymore. They want to go with their go hard stuff. They can't, so now they just have like some four threes. Okay. <clears throat> we can probably beat some four threes. Wait, Legion Veteran last. If other stuff survives damage, you want it to be able to be pumped up. Yeah, that was some sweet heal value there with the Citrus Courier. Okay. Definitely, I was considering going with the uh, transfusion, you know, here, like on the Curator to heal one of these things. But I guess we just wait. Because, you know, like, they're, they're showing that they want to do, like, one damage. Like, they have, like, Go Hard or something like that. Oh. Or a red card. That can do one damage. <laughs> the Bing search bar <laughs> with the Twitch Prime sub. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, getting that resub in here, second month. Um, our And our second sub of the day. Okay, so these things are going to be dying. Let's go with Transfusion here, pumping up this. All right, there's the third go hard. Next go hard is gonna be pretty scary, but as you can see, like they only have one card in hand. With these two, we have a lot of cards. Thanks to Crimson Curator. You can see, like, I'm supposed to, like, play Swain first. So this is it. Conquest Go Leviathan. Maybe I'm supposed to play, like, Swain last turn and, like, force them to have something to block Swain. Especially with having, like, Death Sand. Yeah, maybe I should have just gone Swain last turn, but... All good. We win. Okay, same regions. One champion the same, but we're going with Elise instead of Callista. Mulligan the top end, look for some cheaper stuff. So much for Mulligan in the top end. <laughs> Redrew the eight drop, eight drop, five drop, but um, Where do you stand on coach? Really hoping for another before turn four, another unit that costs four or less, so I can have you know transfusion potentially available. So they have one fleeting card. Grog if you were burn if you don't! And it looks like they're not playing well, said fleeting family. card. My bloodkin. Who's fallen for blood? Attack with these ones also. Let me block with one and create a crimson card that I can play next turn. Darn. Ooh, that was a vengeance. That's a good card to get rid of. Man, still nothing I can play. And when we have these big heavy hitters, that's nice getting rid of a vengeance. Like <laughs> Well, here, I mean, we really just need a one through four, right? Like, uh, so there, our deck, you know, like we need like one, like Krusty Codger, Fortune Croaker, Boxtopus, another Crimson Curator, Legion Veteran, Zap Sprayfin. That's 
20 cards. That's half of the deck. I don't know if we really need more. I've dressed for the occasion. In. I've whipped up something special. This is pretty scary. All right, so what do we got? Go hard dealing three. One suffers, another cries. I'll buy some time. All right, it's 18 cards, and then, yeah, so my, never mind, not 20, eight, 18, minus one Crimson Kira Turks, we drew one, so 17 other cards. So considering, you know, like, with our mulligan ins and, and drawing before turn four, you'd think that we'd find two of those. But it's not always going to happen. Fine. Fine. Okay, so Vladimir's at three. Crimson Awakener will make up four. Transfusion make up five. So we can level up Vladimir this next turn. Getting a three drop. Oh yeah, yeah. Never mind, never mind. I was thinking that that was the the five mana one that killed it and got two more. So do I just proactively cast transfusion? Kind of want to. Yeah, I guess so. Right? Cause I don't really want to pass and they pass and then I do I do nothing. I want this to to level up. Okay, cool. So, you know, like, basically playing that uh, transfusion to deal deals one to the Awakener, but then turns Vladimir, for, instead of being a 5-1, is now a 6-6 six, six with regeneration. This one's mine. A lot easier to deal with that. Tough, aren't you? So we're down to 10. I need to be playing Citrus Courier this turn with all these eights in hand. Just have a pretty awkward hand here with just all the eights and this Crimson or this uh, Citrus Courier. There's nothing to fear. Gotta go with the flow. See what they're made of. Bottoms up. Yeah, pretty awkward hand. So doing this, so we have the Crimson Pack. We'll do a damage to them, which will enable my Citrus Courier. It's a great block here. I was kind of thinking that they would put like the one-one in front. Yeah, that's a good block. All right, doesn't really look like Citrus Courier is worth it this turn. Looks like I'm going Leviathan instead. Which, of course, Leviathan will have the round start deal damage, which will turn on Citrus Courier. Now, if they have Vengeance, which we have seen Vengeance in their in their deck, and they go Vengeance on the Leviathan, that would make me sad. For silver I talk, for gold I Keeping Vengeance mana available. Destination in sight! They do play Vengeance, I'll Noxion Fervor and kill... I'm not sure. Which one? Elise or... Sprayfin? I guess Sprayfin? I don't change fate, but I can see it. Yeah, I guess we'll kill Sprayfin. That was a problem killing Sprayfin right then, but got good use out of that regeneration. You shouldn't be attacking with this pool shark. 
They just wasted that spiraling. I assume you've come for me. Down to two. I can't play three things. I can't play an eight plus something else. Guess I play my two champions. I don't really want my Vladimir to do one to the Swain to do one to them. You the losing side. That's really nice how we get to choose now with Vladimir. Mm. Good glimpse beyond. Croakers have been awesome. It's all three of them. Never lost a fair game. Eyes open. Alright, leading with Spray Finn looking for a spell to play. Which I guess Leviathan gives me. If I go Leviathan, that gives me a uh, Ravenous Flock, right? So we have Ravenous Flock for Elise. This is, of course, a high-risk high, high risk play, but I'm trying to finish the game out like the 18 damage pretty fast, which this can do. Alright, so there's Vengeance. I want to hit him with Swain before they play something else that has three health, three power, Absolutely parched. and blocks. But you know, maybe I'm supposed to be developing. Developing probably means playing like Legion veteran, Legion veteran. Uh, I I don't remember either either two or three for Go Hard. I I don't remember which one. I don't know if it said it right there. It say. One suffers, another cries. Cool, got to kill the Twisted Fate. Such That's number three. Keep up, keep up. So the next pack your bags kills me. Unless I find Citrus Courier. And so... Darn. GG's. That was a good close game. That was a good, good game right there. We need to find our other Citrus Courier. I did, you know, I, last time we played this deck, I did play three Citrus Couriers. I did take out that third Citrus Courier for the Captain Farron. So, like, if the, with that game, 
you know, if that Captain Farron was the Citrus Courier, we probably would have won that game. Yeah, because, I mean, we would have just healed, you know, like that last turn, we would have just healed three, been able to attack again. Uh, yeah, so, um, but yeah, of course, we did, we did, we were super, super slow there, right? Like, we had one Crimson Curator of our first, um, you know, we have 18, 18 cards that cost four or less. Um, and we only found one of those eight, you know, as far as units go, we only found one of the 18 with Crimson Curator. Really needed a second one. Um, but, you know, that's that's how it goes. Because, you know, like, I don't, like, with this deck, it's it's kind of good to have, like, the save the three spell mana, right? So, like, the, the saving the three spell mana wasn't bad. But we needed one more unit. So, like, even, even not having anything on turn one, turn two, like, that's okay, because you get to save that three spell mana. So that's just fine. But, you know, with, with Cur Crimson Curator on three, then on turn four, we needed another anything or, you know, like one of these four drops, something like that. Uh, but we didn't have that. I don't know. Maybe So maybe Captain Farron should just be the other Citrus Courier. We did seem like we had plenty of top end with the Leviathans, but we did a, we did a really good job of drawing Leviathan. But even like this, the Swain Ezreal deck where Captain Farron finished it out. We also, you know, had we had just a ton of cards anyway that we probably could have won that even without the Captain Farron. Um, whoops, because uh, you definitely play three Leviathan in this, but that's so that's something to, to think about. The Citrus Courier looked pretty good, and I think that's that's a big way of us uh, defeating Aggro, getting that Nexus healing, and healing all of our allies and stuff. It did look pretty good, so maybe maybe you'd want to just go with a third one of those. There are times, though, with Citrus Courier that Plunder can be difficult to turn on. That's not an automatic. That's why we have something like Death's Hand, Spray Fin. Like, those cards do a good job turning on Plunder. I think I would replace the, the Farron and just play three Courier moving forward, though. All right, but that's Vladimir Swain. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Um, you know, let me know what you think of the deck. It did pretty well for us. You know, three and two. That's a good record over in Master's Rank. We'll take that. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.